Hello everyone, my name is Salona Isaac from Harmony C Studio and today I'm going to show you how to toggle the visibility of a light in Unreal Engine using Blueprint. Without further more explanation, let's dive straight into it. So right now we are inside the Unreal Engine and we are just going to go straight to what this video is made of. So what we are going to do next is to go to the modes panel, go to light and bring in a point light or spotlight but for me i'm just going to bring in a point light then i would like to increase the intensity of the light so that we can see it more clearly then the next thing we are going to do now is to assess this point light from inside the blueprint so that whenever we give this light a command it will toggle it off and on using our player controller that is when our player controller collide with this light it will toggle it off and on let's try it and see before opening our blueprint i would like to let you understand something about this point light and what we are going to do in the blueprint what we want to assess from this point light is the visibility so that when our player collide with this light it should toggle the visibility to either on or off and where can we find the visibility? We can find the visibility of this point light from the details of the point light. Whenever we click this light, it will give us the details of this point light at the right hand. Yeah, at the right hand of the engine, which is at this place. So we need to go scroll down to the render, to the rendering option. Then this is the visibility of the light. When you uncheck this, the light will go off and when you check it back, it will be visible. So how are we going to do this? We are going to click our light and go to the blueprint. Go to our blueprint. We are going to use level blueprint for this tutorial. Sorry. So how are we going to assess this point light in this blueprint? Because let me go back and press escape key so that nothing should be clicked. Okay. So when we go to our blueprint, if you right click, you cannot see the the point light from from this place and we need to assess this point light this is what we are looking for and how are we going to get it the first thing we need to do is to go back to our viewport click the point light and come back here so that the engine will help us to bring it in here so that we can assess it from this blueprint so what we need to do now is to go back to our viewport click our point light and go back to the blueprint then we right click now you can see that our our point light is showing here but if we go back and deselect it come back and right click it will not show here so right now we are trying to tell the engine that this is what we want to assess in the blueprint so what we need to do now is to click it let's drag it to this place and reduce it a little so i'm going to drag a wire from this point light anytime we right click without dragging a wire from this point light it means that we are not going to take anything from this point light but whenever we are dragging a wire from this point light means that we want to access something from this point light and that is what we want to do now so what we need to do now is to drag a wire from this point light then what we need to find now is our our vc our visible which we earlier checked from the details panel so we, what we need to search for now is visibility visibility of our point light so right now this is what the engine is showing me 
toggle visibility light component and toggle visibility point light component you can use either one of the two so i'm just going to use the second one so now how are we going to make this light function so that when our player controller collide with this light it will give it the information that we want this light to go on or off this is what we need to do let's go back to our viewport in order to let this light to know that our player has collided with this light we need to bring in a trigger box so that when our player collide with this trigger box it will make this light to on or off so what we need to do now is to go back to the modes panel go go to basics and scroll down then bring in a box trigger you can scale it if you want So now let's go back to our blueprint. Right click. And we are not at this time we are not going to click this trigger box because we do not want itself. We need a component from the trigger box. So what we are going to do now is to bring in an event from this trigger box. So the next thing we are going to do now is to click this add event what we need now is to bring in on begin overlap and where can we find it we can see it from the collision and this collision is when our player collide with this with this trigger box we want something to happen now what we need here is our actor on begin overlap So when we bring it in, we need to drag in the wire and hook it up to the toggle visibility so that when our player controller collide with this trigger box, it's going to fire the visibility of the light and our light is going to turn on. But before we play the video, let's go back to the rendering option in the details panel. Let's toggle it off so that when our player collide with this trigger box, our light will go off and when it comes out, the light will go on. Compile your code, then go back to the viewport. Then what you need to do is to play if you like you can use this arrow here to play it or you can press alt p alternative p then let's test our work so when we collide with this box our light will go off and when we go out of it our light is not going to go off wait when we enter the box our light will go on and when we go out of it the light is supposed to go off but we there is still something missing in the blueprint which, which we are going to add soon but when you go in again the light will go off so right now what I want us to do right now is when our player go into this trigger box the light should go on and when the when the player is coming out the light should go off so that is what we are going to do. Let's press the escape key to stop the unit. Then go back to the blueprint. So what we need, what we need right now is to end the event so that when our player go out of the trigger box, something should happen. Let's go back to the viewport. Click the trigger box. And go 
bachelor of three kids. Then bring in this end begin overlap and hook it up to the toggle visibility. Then compile it, go back to our viewport and play. So right now, when our player goes into this trigger box, now our light will on. And whenever our player comes out of the trigger box, our light will go off. Let's try it and see. Our light is on and when we go out, it's going to go off. So thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget to leave a like and also leave a comment down below. Thank you all and be blessed. Goodbye.